YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Merry Christmas Eve or Merry Christmas, depending on where you are in the world right now. But I wanted to extend that to you and say thank you for a great last about five months on YouTube. There's been no drama. There's been no crazy toxicity, anything like that. It's been a really nice time on YouTube. I'm glad these videos have helped you guys. A beginner or an intermediate or longtime veteran player. I hope something on this channel has been able to help you progress through the game that we know is massively confusing sometimes. But we all get in there, man. And I'm proud of you guys. Keep it up. Keep coming back. Keep getting that mastery rank up. I want to see you out here taking down Eidolons, you know what I mean? Speaking of progression, man, last night I finally found the magic juice, the magic mixture for my Kuva Karak. Ever since I picked up the regular Karak, man, I fell in love with that gun. Even though I used the Baza a lot, or I did anyway, now I've fully transitioned to the Kuva Karak because this gun is freaking insane. 123,377 DPS. Insane. But if you clicked on this video today, it means you're wanting to learn a little bit about focus and focus lenses, how to apply them, where to get them, and some of the best places to get focus, upgrade that operator, and further your studies in the school that you chose. We will go over the schools. I'm not going to go too deep into it, but I do just want to kind of touch on the ones that I personally use and help you guys understand how this skill tree works. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you enjoyed this content or if this video helped, please like and subscribe down below. It's been a great year so far, man. A great five months and we're going to continue that on into 2022 have a merry christmas enjoy the time with the family enjoy the rest of the video so first let's go over the schools which one may be the best choice for you it depends on who you play with how many you play with if you're a solo player a team player or even it can come down to the warframe that you play in this case with haro i chose Madurai. But if we click on this, it will show us all the available schools that we can choose. My personal recommendation is going to be Zenerik, but then there's Naramon, Madurai, Aneru, and Vizarin. If we look into Zenerik, this is the reason that I recommend this school for you. If you read the text down below, it says Void Dash creates a zone of energy for eight seconds. Allies passing through the zone gain five energy per second for 30 seconds. This is really great for you, at least one person on your team to have if you don't have another teammate that's giving energy, whether it be Proteo with her dispensary or Haro that's always given his team energy as long as they're within the radius. But this, you just pop out in your operator, do a quick void dash, pop back into your Warframe, and suddenly you're gaining energy. Now this is max rank, so you're not gonna have those stats until you do max rank it, but it really doesn't matter, man. Unlock that one, get that one done first. I highly recommend. Now in the case for Haro, I don't really need Zeneric dash. I don't really need that to gain energy because Haro's three, constantly gives energy to him and his ally. This, of course, isn't max rank, but we could max it right now, actually. Boom. Physical damage increased by 25%. This is the very first thing you'll unlock. And then over here, elemental damage increased by 25%. If you notice, they are passive, and we'll go over what those mean in just a little bit, but these apply to your operator and your warframe. So within these trees, no matter which school it is, you're going to notice that there are different shapes. The circles, the hexagon you'll notice right here with phoenix talons it says right under passive in bold phoenix spirit passive if you look down here at flame blast it's a circle shape which means it's not going to have that bold text underneath that's because flame blast is only within the matterai school you can only use flame blast if matterai is active but if we look up here at inner gaze it says passive slash waybound. So what does that mean? So passive means that as long as this school is active, these will apply to your Warframe and Operator for the entire mission from the very start to the very end. There's nothing you have to do, they are always active, which makes sense. Elemental damage increased by 25%. That is just base, there's nothing you have to do extra to get those bonuses. So with passive waybound, what does that mean? Well, it's very similar to these Phoenix Talons and Phoenix Spirit, that it is passive. Passive waybound, no matter what school it is, whatever ability that is, if you max rank it and you provide one million focus and a brilliant Eidolon shard, you can move that passive waybound ability to any other school within the five schools. So if you wanted to use inner gaze, but you also wanted to have Zeneric dash or energizing dash, which is the dash we talked about at the beginning of this, you could have both of them while using the Zeneric school. So definitely look through these, see which one you think applies to you the most as you can see with Vizarin, mending soul the next three revives are instantaneous and that means for your teammates if somebody goes down you walk over you just press the heal revive button 
they will instantly get up. You don't have to stand there and, and heal them over the elapsed time. Vizarin also increases the affinity radius by 25 meters. That is also passive. It is active from the start all the way to the end. And now we're going to move on to lenses. So the only way to accumulate focus for any school that you have chosen, you have to have a lens to gain the points to rank those stats up. And there are different types of lenses. With this one, this is a basic Vizarin lens. Now we will go over how to get better lenses, but for now, these are just very basic and very attainable no matter what your skill level is. Eventually, you'll want to start to look into greater lenses, Eidolon lenses and Lua lenses. These blueprints are tradable. Lua lenses sell for about 20 to 25 platinum. I've probably sold about six of them within the last week. And there's a video that I have on this channel where you can get guaranteed 100% Axie relics with the chance of getting Lua lenses within that rotation, but you'll only get Axie relics and Lua lenses within that mission. Just click up in the top right if you're looking for more information about that. Just know that the more basic the lens is, the less focus you will get when you're using it. So let's talk a little bit about how to get these lenses. They're very easy for the most part. You're going to have to do bounties on Cetus or Orb Valis, and they will have to be a level three or above for there to be a chance at lenses. As you can see in the comment section, there's the Matarai lens. Here on level four, you have a Matarai lens and Unaru lens. These do rotate, so keep that in mind. If you look up here at the top of these bounties, you can see how long until these will rotate. But like I said, these are tradable as long as they're the blueprints. So also keep that in mind. So in order, so once you've got your lens, whatever school it is, so we've talked about all the schools, we've talked about how to get the lenses to apply the focus so that you can start upgrading those skill trees within the schools that you chose, but what do we do with the lenses once we get them? So what you want to do, whether it's your Warframe or your weapon, in this case Haro already has a Greater Matarai lens attached to him, so I'm not going to mess with that because my Kuva Karak does not have a lens attached. So if we go down here to the Actions tab, which is where you're going to polarize with Forma. You're going to put your Orkin Reactor or Catalyst. But over here, you have a spot for Focus Lens. If we click on that, all of your lenses are going to pop up. Now, be mindful, they're very small platinum logos all the way up here on the left. So don't just click any of them. Just for testing sake, I'm just going to go ahead and pick this Naramon lens. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And if you were to hit OK, that would apply that to that weapon. So any affinity that that weapon gains from here on out, if you've activated a focus pickup, your focus from your Warframe, your focus from your weapons that you've put a lens on will all go into your focus and show up at the end of a mission. So we've talked about all five schools. We've talked about the active, passive, and waybound. We've talked about how to get lenses and we've talked about how to install those lenses on your Warframe or weapon. So the last remaining factor of all of this is the focus that you accrue into these lenses and how do you get it. To obtain focus, there's a couple different ways and I'm just gonna start off with the most popular which is the convergence orb. Once you have a lens on your Warframe or weapon, you'll start to see these glowing gold looking DNA spiraling orbs within your mission. Once they spawn, they will stay up for a minute. If you don't grab them, they will just show up again in another position on the map. Once you pick this up, there's a percentage of your affinity that you're gaining, whether you're killing people, using abilities, what have you. Depending on the lens is dependent on how much percentage is being taken from your affinity and moved over to the focus of the lens that you chose. Another way to do this is if you've unlocked Sanctuary Onslaught. If you haven't, you need to go to Strata Relay, fast travel up to Cephalon Samaris, start doing scans for him. Once you complete that side quest, it will open up what a lot of people call ESO, which is Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, but there's also just regular Sanctuary Onslaught, level 20 to 30 enemies, or Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, it starts at 60 to 70, and then every wave, every round, they get increasingly harder. But at the beginning of each round within Sanctuary Onslaught, it gives you a set amount of time to where however many kills you're getting right there at the beginning, up until that time limit expires, all of that is going into your focus. Sanctuary Onslaught is an amazing way to get focus, especially if you've gotten this new armor set or ephemera with the new war update. The ephemera levels up and evolves depending on how much focus you have. My girlfriend, she has maxed the armor, the ephemera, and the cyan donna by doing different things. Now we've done a lot of terrorless and hydralis lately this week, so that helped her get 
the sentient kills, and we've been doing a lot of Elite Sanctuary Onslaught to get the focus for the Ephemera. There's one more way that you can get focus, and this is just like with standing with some of the Syndicate. So if you look down here in the bottom right, it says Focus Conversion. If we click that, it's going to bring up this menu, which any items that you have, in this case, Eidolon Shards, you can cash these in. The Synthetic Eidolon Shard gives you 5,000. The Brilliant Eidolon Shard gives you 25,000 per Eidolon Shard, and then the Radiant Eidolon Shard gives you 40 raw focus to put towards your school. So if you're into doing Eidolon hunts, I highly recommend to capture them so you can get these brilliant Eidolon shards, radiant Eidolon shards, whichever one you wind up getting to rank up within that school. So I hope this video has helped you understand just how important focus is, where to get it, the lenses, where to get those, and understanding the differences between the schools and how it can apply to your Warframe, your playstyle, whether you're on a team or solo, it's very important that you have an understanding of just what those schools do. Even if you don't necessarily need to use it for yourself, you can always recommend it to somebody else that's confused about the school. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for checking out the video. Y'all be safe out there, man. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.